As the verdict was read, both sides of the courtroom broke down. And tonight, Carly Lewis's friends say they believe justice was served. Determined guilty in the lesser offense of second degree. A guilty verdict for 18-year-old Robert Jensen Schwander, another family impacted by the tragic events of June 2nd. After more than four months of waiting, friends of Carly Lewis say they're satisfied with the outcome. I think justice was served. Earlier, Schwander testified about the day he killed Carly in the vacant hut he was living in. Carly slapped me in the face. She spit right directly in the face. At that point, I became angry because I never had anything. Schwander told jurors a physical altercation started after Carly got angry at him for taking a TV and blanket from the Lewis home. He said that when Carly wouldn't stop hitting and pinching him, he put her in a full Nelson chokehold until she went unconscious. Before I knew it, her knees buckled, her arms dropped, and she fell to the floor. She fell between my legs and she smashed her head up the wall. Then it was the prosecution's turn to question the defendant. They asked Schwander why he didn't leave during the argument to avoid fighting with Carly. I wanted to be in control of the situation. You wanted to be in control of the situation. You didn't want Carly to be in control of the situation. You wanted Carly to shut up. After all the testimony, jurors decided it was enough to send him to prison, guilty of second degree murder. Seeing him getting handcuffed and walking away was probably I talked with the Lewis family off camera tonight, obviously, very distraught, a lot of tears. They tell me nothing will bring Carly Lewis back. Sentencing has been scheduled for November 18th. Reporting in Traverse City, Lauren Amstutz, 7 and 4 News.